Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, today we're going to be having a look at Stealth Dynamics absolutely incredible mega park. Probably one of the biggest and best mega parks in the entire theme park Tycoon 2 and I would say one of the most well known as well. It has a massive massive t-rex single coaster a single rail coaster right here which you can see in the background as long as two other coasters a massive tower which is the biggest tower ever built in theme park tycoon 2 and a ton of other theming so we're going to be having a look around it today you may have seen this park before but i'm going to be giving you a little bit more interesting stuff as well here so make sure to watch to all the way to the end right here so you can see some more behind the scenes and some more interesting stuff as i have actually worked with stealth dynamics well recording this park and uh, seeing him build this park and stuff like that but without further ado, let's get on with it. But as you'll have seen in the cinematics at the start, we've got three coasters right here. We've got Blackbird, which is the big, massive single rail coaster right here. Big, massive T-Rex coaster right here. Thunderbird right here, which is an inverted coaster right here, which is pretty nice. And the newest one, which you might not have actually seen on a lot of other people's channels, like Malaboomers and people like that, which is Blue Angels, which is a massive launch coaster right here, which is one of my favorite coasters in the game. Now, it's completely up to you on which one is your favorite coaster out of the entire free ride here but i think my favorite is blackbird which is the first one we're actually going to ride on right here so we're going to go through the supersonic pass uh because i'm just that fast you know i'm i'm like usain bolt what can i say uh you know i <laughs> But you can see right here that we're just going to run through here. We've got this incredible, incredible jet right here, which looks absolutely insane. You can see this is a recreation of a real jet right there. Oh, just took a little, a little adventure through the wall right here. You see this massive jet right here on this pedestal, which looks absolutely insane. Loads and loads of little details on it and stuff like that. Including, you can see even we've got like pipes going up the back through here and the ties and stuff like that, which looks absolutely insane. I, I love how this looks right here. Really, really cool. And then, of course, we have our first pre-show of the entire place right here now i sadly can't show your audio right here but i can show you the little effects and stuff like that so right here basically what we do is we can just click this big button right here and we'll have this little bit of a plasma sort of nuclear reactor i think this is a nuclear reactor right here uh, and you can see right here it kind of blows up and goes wrong or stuff like that which is really cool and then we can run through here through all these corridors and then we're actually straight into the station right here ready to ride blackbird now we have these massive massive doors right here which open out and allow obviously the coaster to go through some other little details in the station while we wait right here which i love is that you can see over here oh let me just get out of here you see over here that we've got these cctv cameras right here which actually look like the actual ride right here it's not just random fuzziness or stuff like that it's got that lovely little detail of having like all of the actual coasters come through here and of course we have all our different rows right here where you can actually get onto the ride and i really really love all of these little details and stuff oh well we just missed that train right here but this does mean that we can see this uh, closing right here which is quite nice so i guess we'll have a look at that you can see right there that it's an actual working door which is pretty sick to be honest and i do like that but anyway without further ado guys I know you guys are all waiting for it. You don't want to hear me rambling, okay? Let's actually give a ride of this so you guys can see the POV.
there we go, guys. There it is, Blackbird. An absolutely insane, insane ride. And I'd just like to also show off right here because you've probably never actually seen this before right here. But you can actually see that it's got a full switch track and stuff back here, which is really, really cool. And it's a nice little detail, which a lot of coasters don't do. But it is a really, really advanced, like, proper switch track right here with little bits going around, all this sort of stuff. Uh, with the motors and everything. Even in here, you can see we've got trains being stored and everything like that. It's a very, very cool detail, which you never actually really see in the game. Not to mention, of course, that this was probably, and I'm pretty sure that this is true, this is actually the first ever T-Rex coaster in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So this is the first ever T-Rex single rail coaster, which is like this. Obviously, single rails are a big thing in the game, and plenty of people have built single rails before, but this is the first T-Rex single rail to ever be built in the game, which is pretty cool, to be honest, if you ask me. And although I'd love to show you, this sequence is about nine minutes long, apparently, but I just found out secretly that you can actually click this button right here and this door opens. But anyway, that's enough of that. We can actually go through the exit right here. You can see we've got these really cool planes again right here, which is really, really cool to see. A very, very unique use of the actual, like, uh, <laughs> the actual Snowy G right here to make, like, a cone right here, which is something that Self Dynamics have been doing for ages but it's something that no one ever really uses right here and you can also see right here that's something that's quite cool is that you can click on these images right here uh, and it'll actually say what they are right here which is kind of in uh, interesting and of course we have a nice little gift shop right here and I love these little gift shops that they have right here especially these little statues that they have of the Stealth Dynamics logo a really really cool thing right here and you can see we've also got some photos and stuff right here the Dynamics nano coasters and stuff like that which I think is a really really cool touch right here and to be honest, it makes a really, really nice thing. And speaking of really, really nice things right here, you can see we've also got custom uh, ride photos right here, which is really, really cool if you ask me. And I'm pretty sure I'm actually on one of these if I remember rightly. I can't remember. I might be in one of the back seats or something. I don't know, honestly. But still, a really, really cool ride right there. But anyway, let's stop rambling on about that ride because we've got two other rides to ride right here and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. So next we've got Thunderbird right here, which as you can see right here is a nice inverted coaster which runs throughout this area. Obviously a lot smaller than the other two rides in the park, but still quite a noble ride. So let's actually give this a ride right here before we go on the final big massive ride which you guys are probably very excited for because you have never seen before. So let's actually give this a ride right here. Uh, something really cool to notice right here is that there's a little tester ride thing so you can see if you can fit in and stuff like that. Something that a lot of real rides do but you don't really see in Theme Park Titan 2 again. Got this nice little thingy with this trophy. We're going to go through the standard one because I want to see all these little details. I don't think I've ever actually been through the standard queue right here. And you can see that we just basically come through here. We've got some nice photos and stuff. Uh, which eventually brings us up to uh, here. We've got this nice window, which you can see through and all this sort of stuff right here. Some nice photos of planes, of course, seeing as that's the whole theme. And it looks like the train's actually going, so we're going to go there, uh, there, go in that after. Just like the other one, we've got a nice little ride up booth right here, which is very nicely detailed and stuff like that. And something really, really cool right here is you've actually got all of the electricity and stuff running throughout here, and all the bars, which normally go around inverts. I'm pretty sure this is to stop you banging your heads on the things. I don't know if that's why or why it actually is, but this is a real thing that they have in a lot of inverts, at least of the ones that I've been on, like Nemesis and stuff like that. They have these bars over here to protect your head, I guess. I don't know exactly, but it looks very cool, and it's nice to see that little bit of realism as well, along with also the tires and stuff, which is it's just a lot of really nice details in here, which looks really cool. But let's stop rambling on, as always, and let's get on that POV right here. So, without further ado, enjoy.
And there we go, guys. A bit of a short ride, but still very, very cool right here. We can obviously run down, and again, we've got a nice gift shop. I actually prefer this gift shop a lot more because it's got, like, this little thing in the middle right here with all the costumes and stuff. And, of course, we've got loads of this, and I really like these shelves that they've got here. And if I'm right, I actually did get in a ride photo of this. I don't know if it's actually going to be displayed on here, but we can have a look. Uh, am I on? Oh, there I am. There we go. Look, I told you I knew I was on one of these right here. You can see me there in my lovely little merch right there, which you can buy, by the way. You can buy, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but there we go, yes. Uh, you can see I'm actually on these ride photos right here, and I really love these ride photos. It's something that I might actually maybe steal for my own thing because I think it's a really cool idea right here to have like the ride photos and stuff and actually get people to come on the rides and take photos of them. It's a really, really interesting idea. One thing that I did actually want to mention because I don't think this was here before last time I saw uh, and it's a really, really cool feature is that if you actually look here, there is a little trail right here that goes over this, uh, over this right here, down here and we have this massive, massive, massive <laughs> ladder right here going all the way up to this cat walk right here which i'm not sure is the most realistic thing ever but it is definitely a really really cool thing right here and i love the little bit of extra realism right here i mean let's be honest this ride isn't the most realistic thing ever but it is an extremely cool thing to see realism even on these sort of rides and also with the footers as well with the individual bolts going into them you know those sort of little details and stuff like that really adds a lot uh extra to the rides right here and i think it makes it a lot more unique and just better overall i really really love those little bits of realism even in a coaster that maybe isn't too realistic but before we actually get onto our last roller coaster right here we're obviously going to have a look at this very very impressive i think 418 feet tall tower right here it is absolutely fucking insane this uh building right here and fun fact i do actually have an office up here if i say let's see if i can actually find it if we go up to the top i do actually have an office in here somewhere uh how oh, here it is i found it and uh, you can see i actually do have a little office because i used to edit for um stealth dynamics right here so i got an office with which has an incredible view of blackbird right here you can see we've got some nice bookshelves and stuff like this and we've got like a desk uh some you know uh monitors and stuff like that and we've obviously got my little plaque right here for being best creator in people tagging two two years running now guys two years running uh, <laughs> and we also have more people here like fad bob and you can see if we just go uh up and around there's tons of other people right here which have their own little thing and their stealth standing up on his nice little penthouse right there loving life by the looks of it but this tower is absolutely insane and i wish we could go around it and look at every single thing but obviously there is so much right here to actually look at that i think it would even be its own video right here so if you do want to see um you know an, uh, its own video on this right here then please do leave a, le a like down below you know if we get an, if we get enough likes i might actually do a tour on this uh you know tower itself right here if you guys are interested and also leave a comment i guess if you're interested but yeah you can see it and it's an it's an absolutely incredible thing but we don't have enough time to tour it today okay we only have enough time to do the roller coasters okay speaking of roller coasters let's actually head over to the very very last coaster right here which is the blue angels i think so right yes yes blue angels right here which is a really really cool ride which you won't have probably seen many other places like i said malaboomer's video is one of the biggest videos on this but it isn't actually it doesn't actually include this roller coaster right here so it's actually something that you may have never seen before right here but is an absolutely insane roller coaster right here which uh you know i think we should actually get on riding right here so we're going to run through the standard express right here this one doesn't have as interesting of a queue because it's actually going through the building right here but you can see it's just a fairly simple queue right here with some nice paintings on the wall as well as like uh, as well planes and stuff like that and then we have our station right here so guys you know the drill let's get on with the pov
Okay, well, that was pretty insane right there. I've only rode that, like, once or twice, I think, right here. And it is an absolutely insane roller coaster, honestly. And I have actually uh, found my way up to the little control tower right here, which is something that you will definitely have never seen before, I don't think, right here. Which, again, has all the CCTV of all the different areas, which is a really, really cool thing. What I would love to see, maybe, maybe not from this park, obviously, but some other park, may not even Stealth Dynamics, is this actually has a video on it. So it actually changes, uh, you know, as it goes, uh, goes, and it kind of looks like it works. It might not synchronize up, or maybe you could even synchronize it up and make it trigger when it actually comes onto a piece of track right here. So it actually looks like a proper CCTV thing. I think that would be really, really cool. Maybe a little bit hard to pull off, but I don't know, maybe give it a try, somebody out there. If you do do it, tell me, you know, join my Discord, send me a photo. I will, you know, I, will, I, I that would be absolutely insane if you have ever done anything like that. And of course, of course, of course, we've got a lovely switch track right here, which I really, really like. Again, with the motor and everything right here. It just looks so cool, and it's really, really well done, honestly. So, you know, I, I'm going to show it you, obviously, aren't I, guys? I'm going to show it you. But with that, that's actually all the roller coasters done. But don't click off yet, guys. Don't click off yet, because I'm going to show you something that you will have never seen before again right here, which is this at nighttime. I don't think this has ever actually been shown on YouTube at nighttime. So I'm going to turn it right at night right now, and I'm going to give you a little overview of what this actually looks like at night. And here we go, guys. It is now nighttime, and look at how insane this looks right here. Of course, we've got Blackbird with its incredible, incredible red lighting going all the way up right here, which uh, <laughs> Roblox is kind of struggling to load in right here because it's so massive. But you can see right here that it's all nicely lit up right here. And then all the way down, if we come back down here, we've got this massive fountain lit up with different colors going all all the way around right here which looks really really cool right here and it gives it a really really nice vibe going around here i do kind of wish the other coasters were a little bit a little bit better uh I, you know going all the way around the track and stuff like that with some spotlights or whatever but we obviously also have the runway all lit up right here now what i'm going to do guys is if you want to see all these povs of all of these free rides right with the original audio and in nighttime and at dawn so there so you can see at day night and um, uh, and dawn right here then all you need to do is click the little join button down below there's a little join button which now has appeared on the channel uh, you can now become a member you get loads of stuff including early access to videos um, you get exclusive POVs that nobody else has ever seen. You get early access to showcasing your park streams and so much more. So go check that out if you do want to actually see the POV of this at night time and at dawn with its original audios on each of the coasters right here. So go check that out, guys. But except from that, that is pretty much everything right here. It's been absolutely amazing touring this park. If you do want to see some Stealth Dynamics other things, because they are working on some other stuff right now, and they do also have some other projects, like I said earlier, leave a like I'll just do a tour on this uh, tower right here and on some other stuff if you guys want to see that but just leave a like and tell me down in the comments if you do want to see that and of course of course I will do it guys I will do it right here you know I'll ask self and I will force him to come into this damn game <laughs> and, I, and I will tour around his park for half an hour and waste half an hour of his life uh, <laughs> but anyway guys that's basically going to wrap it up for today go check out stealth dynamics obviously their link is going to be down below and you can go actually subscribe to them and all that sort of stuff Here's all the Patreons and stuff obviously coming up on screen. I hope it's coming up on screen. If not, then I've scammed them out of it. No, <laughs> no joke. But here's all the channel members, Patreons, and Twitch subscribers for this month. But except from that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in another one. Goodbye.